Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to IT for Solutions. In this video, I will discuss about store procedures in SQL. So this is very important video. Uh, in the future upcoming videos, we are going to build uh, the store procedures for our database that we have created in earlier videos. So you should learn about store procedures. We will create uh, the CRUD store procedures and more and more complex store procedures to give you the more real world knowledge. So first briefly understand that what is store procedure and why store procedure so uh, you can learn about this one uh, further in details in google i am going to show you the basic purpose and basic definition for the store procedure so a store procedure is a prepared sql code that you have uh, you can save so the uh, that so the code can be reused over and over again so if you have an sql query that you write over and over again save it as a store procedure and then just call it to execute it as you have uh, seen in the previous videos of our point of sale tutorial series that you saw that we are uh, we have write the query and wherever we use wherever we need that query we are going to copy and paste again and again but the purpose the best the first one purpose of this store procedure is that we write once and use over and over again and you can also pass parameters to store procedure so store procedure act based on parameter values that it passed so uh, and these store procedures are efficient as compared to queries these store procedures are secure from sql injection and lot of benefits you can uh, learn from google uh, you can search it on google and learn details about store procedure so now we look on basic syntax for the store procedure how we write store procedure so in order to write store procedure in sql we write keyword create procedure then procedure name any name you can type here but i'll recommend always use useful name write first usp that stands for user store procedure then underscore uh, like this usp that denotes that user store procedure underscore then table name that uh, that is very useful for further for future users that is our table name now you can write the name of your store procedure insert user same simple you can write this one otherwise it's up to you use as which is better for you but i am recommending to use this method this is very good for future because after one or two week you have uh, hundreds of store procedures in our sql and you have to need again and again to find store procedure and it is very difficult process to find uh, specific store procedures so if you follow the proper convention for de uh, development you will find it very easily so then we have parenthesis look this section is optional if our store procedure is uh, without par parameters then this could be as look like this we have no store procedure and then as then begin these are the reserve keyword that we have to use for store procedure and we can write any sql valid sql statement here you can use as and begin again and again you can use uh, if statements you can declare variables here you can use loops here you can use conditional statements here and you can uh, develop your own logic here so store procedure are very powerful and if in case your store procedure have any uh, parameter then the parameters will be passed here with the start of at the rate symbol then parameter name like username and then data type of that parameter and watch or 250 simple as that then you can add a further parameter by comma at the rate password and watch or 250 again you can write any name to these variables these are parameters you can write any name but i'll strongly recommend that always use these name as the names uh, columns defined in that table suppose we are going to write the store procedure for users and you have seen we have uh, two columns here like on users i'm using basic two columns discussing look we have username so always write username here and we have password always write password here use parameters name same as the name of columns in that table so it could be very efficient and your productivity would be 100 percent increased by using this type this type of practice so this is the basic syntax of 
store procedures that how to write store procedures in sql server and what are the benefits of store procedures so i hope you like this video if you like this video so please uh, share and subscribe to my channel and share these videos to your friends and family so that they people also learn from these uh, videos and we'll further in the next video we'll inshallah uploading the store procedures for insert update delete the basic crud operations and then so on so thanks for watching we'll meet again inshallah okay take care allah hafiz assalamualaikum